wrestling fan, wrestling fans around the world, my TNA wrestling fans, where you at? It's Thursday night, so you know what that means. It's another edition of TNA Recipe with your boy Big Red, all the way from Dallas, Texas. Hot ass Dallas, Texas. Hot to the motherfucker. Stay in the house if you're here. Anyways, 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 before we get started, before we get started, I wanted to, uh, uh, Say my condolences and uh, to our WCC CEO, Mr. Chris Team Bring It, going through um, going through it right now. He just lost his aunt, and, and bro wants you to know, yeah, I'm praying for you. You know, I just went through this myself not too long ago myself, so I know what you're going through, bro. And uh, <clears throat> so you get, keep your head, keep your head up, keep strong. And the thing you can say about this, a hey, Hey, she she said with the good Lord right now, so you know what I'm saying? God got her back, so you know where she's at. All right, all right. And also, WCC would like to remind you to always support your local indie scene wherever you are, what city, state, town, wherever. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to this. To my left, I have a a special co-host tonight. He is the 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 host of the main event on Friday night. All the way from the big VA. Welcome, Doug Barrett. I'm here. Your token white guy is here to piss you off. <laughs> and all the way to my right. <laughs> and all the way to my right, got my right hand man, my super producer. Give it up all the way from Cali Show, from Cali Love for LCB Natico. What's good? What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, 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 I, I, we know we got we got backup tonight. Don't forget, we also are being joined right now by two champs. That's right, two champs. One one half of the Hollywood Kill Squad tag team champions, Mr. T5 himself. What up? What, what, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and of course, and of course, and of course, and of course, we cannot forget. The newly crowned, and Doug, don't kick my ass for this, but the newly crowned WCC champion, Mr. Hater Gator himself, Jacob Marshall. What's good? What's good? What's popping? Oh. Does it matter say fact, I'm number one again. As, oh. as a matter of fact, you can keep Mr. Jacob Marshall, Hater Gator, <laughs> every Wednesday night, sex battles going down. He got the number one spot for the last two weeks in the row, but this all right. All right, we 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 gonna be back up on it. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. TNA tonight, it's a pretty good show, damn good show, especially the main event. But we'll get to that. But anyways, we start off the show tonight with Bully Ray. No, no, no. Wait, was it Bully Ray? Uh, or main I've, event mafia first. Mafia. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We got Manu Vit Mafia coming out first. That's right. And they were talking about, you know, how, you know, last week they, you know, brought the, the World Heavyweight Champion back to the TNA. You know, that there's proud of Chris Saban for doing what he did and and everything. Got us Then we get Bully Ray come out. And. Oh, shit. Hold on. I wrote a little bit of this down. Oh, you got to do some editing, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> now, he, he brought Chris Saving out, right? Before Bully Ray? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, they brought Chris Saving out. You know, we're talking his head. You know, celebrating. He was in the ring celebrating, you know, his win, which, you know, hey, which been 10 years coming. But then we get Bully Ray come out, finally. We get Bully Ray come out, and he say, do you know who this is? This is my lawyer. What? Bully Ray lawyering up? What the fuck is this? Hmm. So he's basically bitching, crying, moaning, because he got a taste of his medicine, or taste of his own medicine last week when he got busted in the head with a hammer. He saying, hey, if you don't give me back my championship, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue TNA. I'm going to sue everybody that had anything to do with this, basically. Wow. And I'm like, wow, really, bro? We we lawyering up? We doing this We doing this storyline? Everybody's lawyering up again? Really? Wow. Bitch? 
Can, can, can we say, can we say, bitch Ray instead of bully Ray? Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, so they, you know, they tell him, and, and, and the lawyer, he sounded like a little pussy. Like, wow, really, okay. Anyway, so they tell him by the end of the night, they had to, they had to the end of the night to hand over the TNA World Heavyweight Champion to his rightful owner. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get to the first match. The first match of the night was for the X Division title, the the new X Division title, the ugly ass new X Division title. Looks like, in in I'm making WWE reference. Looks like the fucking Intercontinental Championship and the fucking NXT Championship had a fucking baby. Wow. Wow. <laughs> fucking ugly. Wow. Like, really, dude. Anyways, this match was between Manic versus Sanjay Dutt versus the artist formerly known as Trent Beretta. And I'm going to have to say, this is a damn good match due to, you know, Sanjay Dutt and Manic. And I'm not really a Trent Beretta fan. He's he's a high, but, you know, he's not one of my favorites. You know? but anyways, it was a good match, and for a while... You know, it looks like Sanjay was going to win because they had took Manic out, and he was out, and, hell, uh, Errol Herbner had to come out and check on him and make sure he was all right. But, as usual, Sanjay did, did a phenomenal job. I mean, this guy was all over the fucking place. And then, all of a sudden, you see him and Beretta on top of the fucking steel structure going at it. Manic finally makes his way up, climbs to, climbs. Uh, climbs the, uh, the, whatever, the wire, going for the X Division champion, and Beretta trying to stop him, he gets pulled down to the mat for his trouble, Manic unhooks the belt, and you got your new X Division champion, now, did anybody else hear the fucking botch when he called him suicide? Yeah. <laughs> You know what that means. Take a drink. <laughs> it lets you know the name Manic is just not, it's not popping. Oh, you never want to. You just hit a off you. Yeah, that was the first problem. But, you know, there was one problem with this match altogether. I'm going to get some heat for this. It was a predictable win. I mean, you got Trent Beretta, who the only thing he's used for is being the parrot on Beretta. You have Sanjay Dutt, who... Like I said last week and been posting on WCC.com, he's in the Ring of Honor World Title Tournament. So, yeah, you are left with Maniac, who, let's be honest, we're just waiting for him to come out to the song, She's a Maniac, She's a Maniac. Alrighty then. <laughs> you know what? I should write a song for him called He's a Maniac. I can sing it next week. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, Anybody else have thoughts about this match real quick? Man, I had no problem with the, the three that was in it, you know, except for the fact that you still got that damn mask on suicide or man or manic or whatever. They gave the reasoning why he goes by manic and everything. But to me, it was still crap. I mean, it's TJ Perkins. You might as well go ahead. You, you called him TJ when he got jumped by um, Austin Aries. Mm -hmm. You might as well let him wrestle as TJ Perkins. And it's a wrap. I can tell you why. They want to plug that TNA video game that's still on the shelves. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I thought the whole purpose of that gimmick was for no one not to know who was really under the mask. It's supposed to be mysterious, a mystery, like, you know, who the fuck is under this mask? But, yeah, they fucked that all up. And I don't understand why. And I don't know. I'm like, if he was going to change the character, change the whole fucking outfit, for real. Something. Anyways. Moving on. Hey, Doug, you want to take over real quick? Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> After Manic, or whatever you want to call him, Manic Suicide, or TJ Perkins won his match, we heard Billy Ray backstage with Mr. Bach, I mean, Mr. Anderson, 
And he asked Anderson, blah, 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 more talking than a freaking soap opera. After that, we had our next match, and it was for the Bound for, blah, blah, Bound for Glory series. It was Hernandez, a.k.a. L's big brother, taking on Mr. Fox, Mr. Anderson. Um, it was a good match. I mean, it was enjoyable. I mean, it was a good set through. Um, Mr. Anderson would pick up the win and would get himself a nice big seven points after he hit the mic check. Um, how did everyone else feel about this? Are you upset Anderson won, or are you happy that Big Hernandez lost and there's probably some real crying in Taco Bell? Man, I got to tell you, for all the Mexicans out there, what the fuck is going on con mi gente out here? Seriously, what the kind of bullshit is going on? No, I'm just kidding. But no, no, real though? Fuck. Uh, I think, I don't know who said it, if it was on Uncensored or on Overload or on Reese. I don't remember who said it, but it seems to me it was a bad idea to be in Aces and Eights. It seems like you just don't get that push. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem right. Yeah, Anderson, you know, picked up the win and stuff, but it's like, uh, like you could have done better. You could have done better. Let's just say that. Right. Uh, yeah, no. And, you know, I, <clears throat> I for one, um, I'm a Hernandez fan. I always have been since LAX. I've, I've always liked Hernandez. And... He's been loyal to this company. I feel that he should get a big push, and they're not—they're not doing anything with him. They—they always want to stick him in some kind of tag team and throw tag team titles on him. When is he gonna get his time to shine as a singles competitor? Mm-hmm. When he goes back to Mexico, or goes to Ring of Honor. Ooh. Yeah, looks like that's gonna be on the way because TNA ain't doing shit. What else can you say? Yeah, if he stays in TNA too much longer, he's going to go down faster than the Titanic. Yeah, speaking of champs, this is like, what, the third week in a row that the tag team champs haven't been there? Yeah, what the hell happened to that 30-day rule of the dad and Bill that Conor can't wrestle for shit? I mean, I understand they got the Battle for Glory series going on, but fuck, come on, really. Well, here's the problem now. Look at the tag teams they got. You got Storm and Gunner, or the Cunning Storm, as I want to call them. You got Daniels and Cass, who could break up eventually. Hernandez and Chavo, well, they're gone. Who the hell does that got left? The team that looks like they belong on Big Brother? Right. Oh, wait, the Big Fired. I don't remember. <laughs> nah, they're still there. They're still together. Little, little bro, bromance or whatever. Oh, okay, then we just found our match for the next title, tag team title match. The Gunning Storm going against Big Brother 13. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that dude. He, he fucking sucks. He has nobody's personality whatsoever. And for that, you get a cookie, because you just found out what everyone else knows. He sucks. <laughs> Wait, can I hear somebody in the background? Okay, yeah, who's having sex in the background? This is not the time for sex. That's on Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> anyway, this is Agency picks up this, this win, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> uh, moving on. Uh, go ahead, Doug. Uh, a video was played, man, about, oh... Bully Ray, wah, 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 crying and complaining more than the Oakland Raiders. Um, then we saw Dixie Carter, the lovely, cut, stupid bitch of the whole wrestling professional award. And then she talked to Bubba, blah, blah, blah. Then we saw Joseph Parks, who's got to be the most idiotic, mentally challenged person I've ever seen in my life. And I work with silk children, so that tells you how bad it is. Uh, Eric, Eric Young came up to him with an iPad. He shows Parks, he t- and then... Joseph Park turns crazy, so we now know we can't make him bust his head open, and we can't show anything that has involved music or people that rings a bell. I feel like we're looking at Festus all over again. And then after that, we had Velvet Sky come out and get ready for the Knockouts Championship match. Gail Kimbers, Miss Nikki James, who was recently singing at a concert, which, thank God she's got looks. 
Uh, Mickey yeah, James would win this match. Um, keeps the belt. I don't. I'm kind of surprised by that because I thought Gail Kim was going to win this one. Um, yeah, but they do. Uh, Gail Kim uh, and ODB get into it a little bit, so we could be seeing a um, new feud with Gail mm-hmm. Kim and ODB. Right. Yeah. Then we get we get uh, Brooke Hogan coming down. I'm like, oh god, her. And she was yeah, like, I tried to forget that because I didn't want to throw yeah, up again. Like, she was basically like, you know, Gail, I got a, I got a problem with you. You know, this is your second time trying to, you know, bulk up to a to a uh, to a referee. What you need to realize is that ODV is also an active is an active wrestler. She's an active knockout, which I, I believe this is going to lead to her getting her ass whooped by ODV. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't understand why ODB is a ref in the first place. I mean, I'm not the biggest ODB fan at all. I mean, granted, I think she's as bad as Samoa Joe, in my opinion. But why the fuck can they call a ref? First, she had of that stupid tag team group with Eric Young, which went nowhere fast. Now she's a ref. The only thing missing now is to make her a part of the camera crew, and then she just pretty much went from Jabba to a piece of shit. They basically wanted somebody that was tough enough to handle anything to get out of line, basically, and that's ODB right up the middle. Mm, good point, but i got a better question. Why do we have to keep seeing Book Hogan? Ain't it bad enough we got to see Hulk Hogan and we all want to throw up? When I see Book Hogan, I just want to stick my head in the toilet because she cannot do anything correct. It's like, it's like having Michael Jordan as a, a brother get you a free job. That's, that's basically what it is. If that's the case, I'm going to start lying and saying I, I'm Brooke Hogan's long-lost cousin. Give me a job. Damn. Wait a minute. No, we should, we should do that for Gator. Gator, pretend you're the black Hulk Hogan. You can get a job at You sound Hogan. like a jobber. What you talking about? 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 My name is Travis Bollea. <laughs> My name is Travis Bollea. I'm your long-lost cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, can we move on from this table? Can we move on now from the table book, Hogan? Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, let's go. Please. Uh, I'll take this one as long as you want to take it red. <laughs> no, you, you can go ahead. I, I won't come into the, to the main event because, like I said, I was, I was busy. All right, Cute. no problem. Uh, uh, next match. Mm. Believe it or not, my favorite match of the night, and it involves somebody we know I hate religiously, the Samoan State Puff Marshmallow Man. Samoa Joe takes on Chris Daniels, and he bounds That part is, it's just you hates the Samoan State Puff Marshmallow Man. He, he hates everybody. Oh, shit. Chris Matt Joe. Yeah, we're We're now joined by Captain Run. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. I was too busy sitting here signing papers on our new place. Uh, just FYI, if you guys are here from it for the next few days, it's because if I don't, let it be sore from moving all my fucking furniture to our to our new house. Congratulations! Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, Ron, if you want, if you don't want your back to hurt, just go to Home Depot and pay some people behind the building to help. Hey, 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 it's not just for you know for it's, it's it's not just for everybody else anymore. It's also for me. So I've been probably going to Home Depot in a little bit because there's some stuff that's still taking care of at this house now. Good to know. Uh, anyway, back to the uh, Daniels and Samoa Joe. And by the way, I like Chris Daniels. I don't hate everyone in TNA. Thank you. Just Samoa Joe. You like Chris Daniels. You like Chris Daniels. Oh, okay, out of all people, you can literally no, pull don't even out say of that tampon right. of your ass. You pull out Captain yeah, Daniels. Like Captain, happen? you don't even have to say it. You don't have to say it. We all know it. <laughs> <laughs> you bring out the baby oil from Magnus. 
<laughs> what kind of character? Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 hold, wait, wait, hold a second. He's saying Magnus now, but pretty much probably next week he'll say, you know, whoever else is on top or whoever else is on top. Come on, man. Really? That's not true. I've been a Magnus fan since he came to the USA, thank you. Sports for Daniels, I don't remember his days in Ring of Honor, so don't stop that crap. Yeah, he ain't like doing well. We ain't back then. Oh, yeah, I yeah. remember those days including when Daniels was within the NWA TNA, which I just probably shocked half the TNA audience who don't remember what the NWA is. I'm just going to throw this out there. Why is it that Ring of Honor doesn't have, like, an actual weekly show besides, like, the pay-per-view stuff? Why don't they ever actually have an actual show, as you can see, on television? Because I'm hearing, because I've seen some Ring of Honor matches, and those matches just literally throw me for a fucking loop, and I would love to see these guys every single week. They do have a TV show, but the thing is, they can't get a deal out there on that side, on your guys' side of the pond. It's mostly just from the Carolinas up to Boston, where they have TV. So they do the East Coast and is fucking us. Because old douchebag St. Clair Network. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, Ring of Honor is the ECW, but getting back to TNA, uh, Daniels would win this match surprisingly, which. As much as I was cheering for Daniels, I was kind of surprised by this because I thought Samoa Joe would be uh, winning these because they want to make sure that, ooh, the main event mafia, or the main event busters, as anybody remembers from a few weeks ago. Um, I thought they would want to make sure they were the top two spots, but Daniels no. picked up the win at seven points. Somebody, somebody actually yeah. there brought, this up, brought this up in WCC, in the actual WCC uh, a few weeks ago about a possible storyline that would have pitted Mr. Anderson in the final against a member of the main event mafia, and then Anderson wins the damn thing and then has to go up against someone. So Bully Ray's trying to, you know, get his title back. And shockingly, lo and behold, TNA actually did the smart thing and not have Chris Taven just get the title right back seven days later. So once again, Doug Barrett. <laughs> and and L, L, I know you're listening. I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, I'm my inner rated R. Wrong. Oh, oh, wrong. Oh, oh, wrong. You were <laughs> wrong. Ah. Hey, I can admit I was wrong on this one, but I still don't think Dan, I still don't believe Saban's going to have that belt by, by the time Balance will go away gets here. I can understand mm. if you're going to feel that way, Ben. But the bottom line was was that pretty much ever since he won that belt, you've been you've been down on Saban just because of Hogan. I'm sorry, but contrary to what somebody's little cheesy ass photo put in WCC, Hulk Hogan is not is not TNA. Hulk Hogan is just Hulk Hogan. He's just that guy that pops up every now and then just to piss all everybody off and make them take shots. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I know I'm not mad at Saban one. I mean, I'm happy for the guy. I mean. It definitely helped ratings, but I'm still going to ask the question. Was this because they wanted to give it to Saban, or did they want to give it to ratings boost and get everybody to stop talking about the negative crap? Which They want, they want, want, want to do this, do this to Saban. They, they've been wanting to do this to Saban for a while, but those damn knee injuries have been the one thing that's been, hold, that's been holding them back from giving Saban his justifiable spot as the top dog. I mean, everybody, all the TNA originals have won that world title with the exception of Chris Saban. Actually, there's two besides Saban, which ain't going to happen, and <laughs> Shark Boy, which ain't which ain't going to happen either. I give it to Shark Boy just to make people laugh. Is Shark Boy even on the roster still? No, no. he was back for five minutes. Five minutes. No, I think I think he they probably pay him on pay pay per appearance of base. Uh, yeah, right. Like they're doing a lot, they, like they're doing a lot of people right now. Per appearance. Wow, yeah. that's pretty much all they all they have right now because the the rumor mill swirling about TNA's impending bankruptcy, which has not been confirmed nor denied. I don't even know why these uh douchebag douchebags from that other that other place literally keep running their mouths about this one. I mean it I mean if you're gonna sort of throw out information like that has some fucking credibility, at least. Yeah, Wait, you're, man. Expecting, you're expecting wrestling okay. internet fans to have proof and credibility? Hey, yeah, hey, that's, hey, that's wait, kind wait, of like a uh, Johnny Cochran defense, isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let, let's get back to this show. We 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 we, we run short on time tonight. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, 
After that, Daniel would uh, win the match. After that, we see AJ Styles walking backstage. The camera switches to Jeff Hardy, and the match is coming up next. Because then we see an ad, then Sting is backstage, blah, 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 blah. And then Christy Hemingway decides she doesn't screw up again tonight, which is, which is a surprise. And then we have AJ Styles versus Jeff Hardy in a Bound for Glory series, which would be a good main event, with, right. as much as I hate Jeff Hardy. But, um... I, I, this match I, was very good, so I will give Jeff Hardy his props on this one. Very yeah. entertaining. Yeah, I, um, I, I had to say, I mean, this, that, I enjoyed the main event. That that main event was good, I mean, because we got a glimpse of the old AJ style, shit that he, that he doesn't really do anymore that he did. Mm-hmm. Um, now, AJ would win this match with his submission hold, so he got a big, nice, juicy 10 points out of this. Yes, he did. Yeah, and I'm trying to think of who's got the points lead now, so come back to me when I have that information. But uh, uh, Madison still, about Man, Man, Man still in the points? lead with 49 oh. points. Yeah, I, I believe Joe's Joe, yeah. Joe still second, and I believe AJ should be third with about 20 or 22 points. I think he, he should have 22 because I think he, he had 12 points, so he got 10 tonight, so he has 22 points now. And I know huh. Everybody else is at the bottom. Not a hit. Anyways. I'm okay, here it is. I have the point system up. Uh, Magnus is still in the lead. Then it's Samoa Joe. Then Styles. And now in fourth place by himself is Daniels. Wow. And... The only one who's been a mathematically eliminated is is a business retarded brother. <laughs> Good. Like anyone here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, mo- moving on to to the main event spot, we have Bully Ray coming out to the ring and basically saying, you know, calling calling out Chris Saban so he can basically try to turn the belt over to him. So Chris Saban comes out and he's like. You know, I never thought I would see the day that you turn into a big crybaby. Hey. And I was like, wow, when? What's Paul with me, Nina? When? <laughs> Anyways, and, and he was like, you know, you know, you need to hand me over my title. I will sue you. And again, I will sue you. I will sue you. And they, you, you said, but how can you call yourself a man? You hit me in the head with a hammer. Well, I'm like, wait a minute, but didn't you bust Jeff Hardy in the head with a hammer to win it in the first place? Mm. I mean, really? So that that makes you not a man either. But anyway, so then we get Ho Hogan comes out, making his little spot again. Uh-oh. Somebody changed yet. Bullet Ray's diaper. <laughs> I ain't doing that shit. It's not my turn. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, and I, I swear, this segment, Hogan said brother about ten fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped counting after six. That, that, that was my thing. <laughs> you know what, brother? You're not going to get the title back, brother. Chris Sabin is going to stay the champion, brother. You're going to get your rematch next month, brother. I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> At the end of every fucking sentence, he's brother. Brother this, brother that. But I'm surprised when you say his his other word he liked to use, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I want no, brother. He didn't just say that. <laughs> yeah, he did, Booker. Come- yeah, yeah, I did, Booker. I said it. I'm just going to show Jackson the floor. We, we oh, find oh, out that next, next in three weeks, August, was it August 15th? Yeah, August 15th. August 15th, they're going to have Hardcore Justice for free on Impact, and it will be, and it will be Bully Ray versus getting his rematch against TNA World Heavyweight Champion Chris Sabin. In a steel cage. No aces and eights. 
No main event mafia. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that should look. So, so, so what do you fellas think about this? That might be good. I like it. I like it. Hmm. Mm, but, uh, something just bothers me a bit on that one. Make it a, I just have a feeling this, there's going to be an ending that's going to make a lot of people pissed off. Oh. What I want to know is, where in the hell was the rest of the crew tonight? Where, where, where was, uh, where was the rest of the main event mafia and where was the rest of Aces and Ace? Hmm. Unemployment line? Back, please. Uh, I, I, I guess I guess everybody if for the second week in a row Taz is nowhere to be found either <laughs> is everybody doing contract negotiations or what is that such a bad thing now I mean Taz is not some not one of the greatest announcers in the world as of late <laughs> see Taz was not on impact and not a single fuck was given I mean, that goes that goes back to what to to what L was saying earlier. I mean, it looks like it's not good to be an ace of the eight. I mean, most likely, I'm going to say Taz is probably out doing his time to get a new contract with TNA, which is the only thing I can presume, and that's what's taking so long because it's you know what the old saying is: it always comes down to money. Right. And and it, what I was reading before, uh, some of these guys that 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 had been let go was because their their contract was was coming to an end and negotiations were, was running too long, which they said, which where well, I found out Bruce Pritchard was fired because they said until he came there, they had no problems with that. But when Bruce Pritchard started there. The negotiations would run so long until that, like, the the superstar would just say, fuck it, I'll go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, um, just in case if anyone forgot, uh, next week is the, uh, one night only pay-per-view for TNA. It would be the 10-year reunion special. Oh, yeah. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we'll see. Guys from past, probably like uh, I'm pretty sure P. Williams will be there, and guys like him. And well, I actually have the match list up if you want me to go over it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, right, let, uh, let, 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 let's know be, be there. All right, there'll be a full way X division elimination match: Sanjay Dutt versus Kaz versus P. D. Williams versus Kenny King. Uh, Velvet Sky versus Gail Kim, and a gauntlet match will have Matt Morgan. Wasn't he just let go? Uh, Joseph Parks, Shark Boy, Johnny Devine, Cassidy Riley, Chase Stevens, ODB for some weird reason, Johnny Swinger, Jesse Gordaz, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, and Mr. Anderson. Um, Team 3D will take on LAX. Please, God, let LAX win this. Uh, Jeff Hardy takes on Austin Aries. James Storm versus Bobby Roode, and Kurt Angle takes on Samoa Joe. Sounds like a pretty good card. I might have to watch that <laughs> for free. Ah, uh, but here's the thing: it's on Friday night. <laughs> uh, I'll be watching that for free, but that's another story. Yeah, it's <laughs> free. We'll have to go over that on next week's main event. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, let's get ready. Right now. Hey, you are listening to the TNA recipe going down every Thursday night, 30 minutes around the impact. The number to call is 760-569-7676. Again, 760-569-7676. Access code 200-446-POUND. Again, 200-446-POUND. Hey, make sure you hit that pound. That's what she said. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, Doug, let, let, let us know where, uh, where we can find you. Uh, you can pretty much find me on YouTube and all that, but you can also find me on Friday nights, 30 minutes after SmackDown on the main event where we go over every main event that's happened this weekend. Believe it or not, 
I will actually have no complaints about the main event from Wednesday. Oh, wow. That's what that. Anyways, hey, you can find me on Twitter at Reddon81. It's R-E-D-D-O-N 81. Also find our light page on Facebook, TNA Recipe. Also find my light page on Facebook. Also follow us on Twitter at WCC Live. Also on Facebook at Facebook slash group slash Wrestling Commentary Central. And also, hey, if if you're into a little role play, you know, you're a big fan of wrestling, getting with the role play, hey, also look us up, WCC Brawl. And, uh, uh, and, and I say, uh, they'll keep my ass for this, though, but, uh, hey, uh, new champ, uh, t- let, let me know what WCC Brawl is all about. The brawl is all about role play, doing the best part and doing your part, win or lose, just acting out your part. You got to come and see what's going on. You know, there's a lot of great matches, um, even stuff going on backstage and in other parts of the arena that you don't want to miss. A lot of fun. We all get along, so don't join us at WCC Brawl. You know what? It's so great that even WWE and TNA steal storylines from us. <laughs> Trolling. I doubt that. I don't think we'll see a 15 second or title match again. Oh, God. <laughs> That's <laughs> never sir. We won't, That's never sir. We won't even do. <laughs> hey. Hey, but, get, but catch us. You, hey, we got shows five days a week. Catch us. Mondays, we got the Uncissure show. Tuesday, Overload with my boy El Sirenitico and my twin, Mr. Jones. Every Wednesday night, going down Ring Rockers. And also, Sex Battles with Mr. Jacob Marshall over there. Every Thursday night, TNA Recipe. And every Friday night, the main event with Mr. Doug Barrett. Wade, Wade Barrett, his brother. <laughs> All right, uh. And hey, thanks for tuning in, joining us, and we'll be back next week. We'll see y'all next week. Hey, yo, take, take it out. <laughs>